Millions of dollars are headed to the Twin Ports. Today we learned the EPA awarded $14 million toward funding research in our region, all focused around the Great Lakes. CBS 3's Emma Quinn spoke with members of the EPA and Congress about how more money means more opportunities in the Twin Ports. Thank you all for joining us today. And Continuing to restore the Great Lakes was the topic of conversation Tuesday morning with environmental leaders and legislators. Today we're announcing nearly $14 million in funding that will go to further benefit not only the St. Louis River AOC, but the entire Great Lakes ecosystem is... This funding comes after legislators created the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative five-year plan. The projects and research within the initiative are all meant to help clean and restore the lakes. About $5 million of that funding will go to the Lake Superior Research Institution at UW-Superior. Ballast water um, research so that we can try to eliminate um, the uh, introduction and movement of invasive species uh, throughout the Great Lakes, which are having a deleterious effect. EPA and UW-Superior officials say they hope to give undergrad students these hands-on opportunities as the projects and research continue. It is works like this that makes our campus and this region truly superior. Because what you're doing is you're training the next generation of talent that can come in and do these environmental protection projects having had real hands-on experience. Members of Congress add these research projects will help legislators make more informed decisions in Washington, D.C. And when they do that, we as legislators want to take that information that the scientists give us so we can uh, put forth good legislation uh, that is meaningful, impactful, and, and measurable. The Great Lakes Restoration Initiative was started back in 2010. For more information on the latest projects this money will help fund, you can head to our website.